gentlemen, welcome back to Unstoppable British Wrestling and we are once again back on home turf here at the home of Burnley Football Club Turf Moor. I am Jarvis Jones Hi, and Jarvis, today... Sir. They already I'm, know who you are, why don't you tell them who I am? Well, as you may have already heard butting in, I am joined for the first time by Mr Ben Cecil the general menace from Northern Ireland. Absolutely, I can't wait to come over here. I mean, when they told me it was in Burnley, I had to reconsider for a second, but I'm happy to watch the action here with you, Joey, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic tonight. I don't know if I agree with uh, Joey, although I'll take what I can get at this point. Now, the last time when Southall British Wrestling was here at Turf Moor, we saw the woman on the outside helping Matt Fox, Stacey Rose, crowned as the Bombshells champion. We saw Leon Slater become the inaugural Airborne Champion and Philip Michael recaptured the unstoppable British wrestling title from Big T. Tonight we will see more gold on the line. And here we have our first match of the evening. It's fantastic Matt Fox takes on Saxon Huxley in a number one contenders match. Ben, who have you got as a, a favourite for this one as Matt Fox showing off his jumping jack skills. Well, I think it's ridiculous that you even have to ask, and let's let's just uh, put uh, Matt Fox's cardio to one side. He's keeping himself strong and on the outside there. Of course, I'm going to back Matt Fox. Do you know what this man has done all across the Northwest? Meanwhile, you've got Saxon Huxley. He's come down to Unstoppable. Listen, he needs to prove himself down here. Matt Fox, he's all the way up. Well, one can say that Saxon Huxley has certainly proved himself already being a standout in NXT UK as he just throws Matt Fox away like the sack of spuds some do compare him to. Now Matt Fox is reunited as you can see with Stacey Rose that happened at Air Rage. He turned his back on his short-lived friendship with Wing Commander Nash and their tag team of the Flying Foxes. It's now both men jostling for position. Once again Saxon Huxley showing he perhaps has the strength advantage here Ben. Matt Fox very smartly rolling away there. Well, Fox does indeed have some ring acumen. I will certainly give him that. He's uh, nefarious sometimes rather than fantastic, but he it's does indeed have a certain amount of skill to him. Johnny, it's resourceful. Why do I feel like I'm going to get a different nickname every time? Oh well, we can't always work on our own. Now, it is Captain Rislock, Matt Fox applying one to Saxon Huxley, bring it through, Huxley reverses and picks him up. Listen to that crowd roar, they were ready for it. They were indeed, but it will take more than that to outfox Matt Fox, despite all the negatives against him, as I did say, he has a great deal of ring acumen, and there again just cinching that wrist lock in deep on Saxon Huxley. And that is the prowess that Captain Wristlock brings to the game. You know, he's a master of over 31 holds. How many do you know? I believe Armbar is one. Uh, there are some others. But now, Saxon Huxley drives him into the corner, drives that knee in. Irish whip cross for Fox. And another big knee to the gut from Huxley. Once again, keeping hold of that Massive Irish whip. Shot. Saxon Huxley showing absolute aggression here in the middle of that ring. He takes Fox over. Big sidewalk slam, sir. And the one, two, just the two count from the ref this time. As Fox again tries to get that escape route out of there. Huxley definitely on top at the moment. Don't count Fox out just yet. You know, he's been a champion in multiple places, multiple territories. If Saxon Huxley thinks that he's going to come down to Burnley and get an easy payday. He's going to be very mistaken after that big shot to the back there. Well, Fox is uh, running for his life at the moment as Saxon Oakley has to engage with Bombshell's champ Stacey Rose. But now Matt Fox taking advantage there, just driving those forearms into the back of Huxley as he slides back into the ring now. Coming off the ropes, what's he got planned? It's reverse, he ducks under, big foot. Well, Matt Fox is, despite people's doubts, just like a lettuce, is outlasting what many people expected. As Saxon Huxley misses that elbow. But like Boris Johnson, he might be out, but not down. He's back up. Big the shotgun drop kick right there. And you can hear it connect with the side of Huxley's face. 
now. Wandering around this room, and this crowd can't get enough of it. Foxy now staggering around, tries the boot on Fox, who catches, drives the elbow into the knee. Hooking Huxley's wrist through again. He has a game plan, he is working on it. Huxley is perhaps that stronger man. He will use those scoops, those slams. If you can get rid of that wrist, you take out a weapon in Huxley's arsenal. And that only goes to show the ring intelligence of Matt Fox going to work on those limbs. Now going to work on the midsection as well, not only just targeting that wrist, but working them all over. It's brilliant. Is he driving the wind out of Huxley? Now going for the snap. Meh, but blocked by Huxley. Smack in the gut, smack to the chest. Getting that momentum back. It's Huxley hooks him. Clever, clever block there by Matt Fox on the suplex. What he got in store here, he reverses through, looking for that big Billy Robinson backbreaker there, and that's put many a man away. Now Fox trying to capitalise, trying to hook Huxley down, hooking those legs. Not to be Again, in this case, not just way. the two count. Matt Fox hailing from St Helens, coming all the way down here, as you mentioned, Ben, to Burnley. To once again try and show why he deserves to be a number one contender. Saxon Hooks is his unstoppable British wrestling debut. Well, what a target to select for yourself. Saxon Huxley wants to make himself known and unstoppable. You know, he told me before this match, he doesn't just see this as a small town. He doesn't just see this as a payday. He wants to work here. He wants to wrestle. The boy wants to work. But at the minute, it looks like Matt Fox is putting the work in. Absolutely, Fox still just hooking in that wrist lock and taking Huxley down to the mat. Again, as I mentioned, you can say a lot of things about Matt Fox, but he is clinical at times when he wants to be. Clinical with a little bit of villain in there. Shades of William Regal. The crowd now trying to will Huxley back to his feet. He is up. Fox taking advantage of the more hirsute competitor, though. Slamming him down with a 40 and going back to that arm and back to that wrist, putting on extra pressure. He's folding that wrist back, almost a double wrist lock style. It's Huxley just trying to find a way out of this. You can see the pain etched on his face. He's once again fought his way back to a vertical base. Forces Matt Fox back into the corner to break the hold. And arm drags him off. Yep. Now he's got this crowd exactly where he wants them. It's a shoulder block takes Fox down. And another back elbow by Huxley. Fox staggering around the ring. Huxley sets him up. Oh, big swing into the, into the corner there. Nice. He's going to set up for something huge here. Corner clothesline into the scoop slam. The work on the wrist not paying dividends for Fox. It's a swing and elbow drop. From Huxley. Just needs to cover. Is this it? No. And you saw him link those hands to try and cinch that pin in deeper on Fox. And unfortunately to no avail for Saxon Huxley. As he readies himself, G's himself up. Good splash in the corner. Coming across. Hip oh. attack. Just wash the face of Mount Fox. So now taking it to the outside as Fox is draped. Once, right by there. Once again, a nice big boot to the side of Matt Fox's face. And this Fox may be roadkill at this point. The hunt is on. Saxton Huxley looking to prove that he is the Northeast beast. He's the dominant animal in town. Off the top rope clothesline. The wild cat as he taken down the Fox. No, it, another a, kick out. Only a two for Saxon there. You have to give it to Matt Fox. The intestinal fortitude, as some may say, to be able to kick out of all the, the onslaught that he has taken over these past few minutes. But look at the support of Stacey Rose on the outside. You've got to wonder if that's going to be a game changer. He sets him up. Tries the choke slam reversal by Fox. Uppercut. He's gone back. Oh, tried to go for that Billy Robinson backbreaker, but it's been reversed. 
He's going to pick him up. He's got him in that choking position, Jarvis. And that is the dead flag blues. And it's the blues for Matt Fox as Saxon Huxley wins.